Eight points, Clay Thompson back in the starting lineup. Now, we know you're no stranger to being a starter, but since the All-Star break, that's really not what the team has been asking from you. So now back in the starting lineup, how did you catch your rhythm so quickly, Clay? I think uh, I took good shots early uh, at the rim, a couple layups, uh, mid-range shot. Anytime you get a couple great looks early, it uh, opens up that perimeter for you and a must win. And I'm really happy how he responded after a tough loss in Minnesota. Even though they're missing their best guys, they still play a certain brand that's hard to beat. So it's a great win. KT, I talk about how these last games are a great preparation. If you want to make a run down the put down the uh, towards the playoffs, what do you see in, in the last games? What do you? What does the team have to do for the last games? Our last games, we must play that brand of ball that ha has had us so successful the last 10 years, moving it, uh, switching on defense, on ball tenacity, and then just trusting each other and playing selfless, and then most importantly, having fun. We're having fun and we're playing connected. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of. Clay, having fun. Great shot selection. Great game by you tonight. Talk about the difference now. You went from Minnesota, snowy Minnesota, to beautiful Miami. How does that affect your energy? <laughs> you kidding me? Get a beach day yesterday, run some football routes, kick the soccer ball, jump the ocean. I mean, that's just good, good for the soul. I'm not Nothing against Minnesota. My dad was a golden gopher. I got a lot of love for the state of Minnesota. But uh, there's something just about being in this tropical air that just has you feeling loose, your knees feel good, and it was a lot of fun to spend a couple days in, South, in uh, South Florida. All right, thank you so much, Clay, again, staying in Florida. I hope the sunshine carries over for Orlando as well. You guys are on.